Hi everyone, welcome back to my hood. So today's video is, as you can see, a full makeup tutorial. This is a classy makeup that I would use for any party because of those really dark lips and really dark eyes. If you don't really dare to wear really dark lips like so, I'm proposing you another option for the lips, a nude lips. So, so don't forget to tell me what is your favorite makeup, the one with nude lips or the one with those lips. So I hope that you're gonna enjoy it and I'll let you with the tutorial just right now. So first I'm priming my eyelid until my brow to be sure that the shadow will really stick all day or all night. Next I'm applying tease on all my mobile lid and also in my crease and it will be a nice base for the rest of the shadows. Next I'm taking my brow pencil and I'm going to line my brow bone just to make it pop and really define my brow because this is so beautiful when your brow is defined. And I'm just setting the powder with this beige, matte beige eyeshadow that I applied just under my brow. Okay, so now the base is done, let's move on to the colors. So I'm mixing two colors for uh, the mobile lid because I want to obtain like a mauve. don't know if you can say that in English, but I want, I want a really light purple with a hint of pink. So I apply this on my mobile lid and I extend a little bit on the outer corner. Next, with my jumbo pencil in milk, I'm just applying a white base in my inner corner. So on top of that, I'm using Venus by uh, Urban Decay. This is from the Naked Basics palette and I love this eyelash shadow. It's so beautiful. And don't worry if it's not as pop as you want, you want it to be because we are going to apply a little bit more after. Okay, so now I'm mixing three eyeshadows from the Sephora palette and just be careful because you don't want all those fallouts on your face. So really be careful when you apply it. And I'm just going to apply it on my crease. With a little brush, just to be really precise. And don't worry if it's not perfect because we are going to blend everything. And I apply and I make it like a little bit up, but not too much. And then you blend it with your fluffy brush. Okay, so now it's time for liner. So I'm just going to wing it a little bit like I did just here. If you don't know how to do a perfect wing liner, just go uh, in the description box. I got a special video on that. And I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so now I'm just going to let it set a little bit and we are going to move on to the lower lash line. So I'm still using my Pentrally Pen Pot by MAC to prime the area. And try to also apply that on the lower waterline. Now I'm taking back T's to create a nice um, base. And I apply that just below my lower lash line. Next, I'm taking back the combo of the two uh, mauve colors and I'm applying that really close to my lower lash line. And just below that, I'm applying also the combo of the really dark colors. But really just under that to, to create really a cat eye effect. And then don't forget to blend because we don't want to have bags under our eyes. Next, I'm taking back my milk pencil and I'm going to apply a little bit more white here on my inner corner but also a little bit going try to the right. And on top of this, I'm using Luna. So then make sure to really blend the area because we don't want harsh lines. And I almost forgot but I'm going to apply NYX Jumbo Pencil in my waterline. Okay, so now I'm going to apply Busted by the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay on 
the outer corner so I'm beginning by applying it just right onto the flake that I just create and I'm going to do a V shape and I almost want the flake to disappear under the color every time you apply a little bit of bastard you blend it with your blending brush and you carry on applying until you're happy with the darkness and don't forget to blend every time Okay, so now it's time for mascara, so I'm going to use my two favorite mascara, mascaras that I always use, almost. So this is the Double Extension by L'Oreal and the Volume Collagen by L'Oreal too. But before applying this mascara, I'm going to curl them lashes. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. I'm quickly going to show you what I use for my whole face. So first of all, I use the U uh, Brand Decay This Leak Primer, so I prime my whole face. Then I use the Prime Time Primer. My foundation is the HD Foundation by Makeup Forever. Then I set everything with this MAC Prep and Prime Prime Powder. I contour my face with this uh, bronzer by Elf. And the blush that I used was the Dallas blush by Benefit Cosmetics. So now let's move on to the lips. So for the lips I have two choices to uh, propose you, but just before, make sure to well moisturize your lips. I have two choices because I know that for some of you this eye makeup can be too much and maybe you don't want, you don't want to apply more makeup than that. So I have a nude version for you and a little bit more their version uh, really like full version for you so just let move on to the nude alternative so first I'm going to line my uh, my lips with this indefectible lip liner by L'Oreal and then I'm going to use this Kate lipstick by uh, Rimmel by Rimmel and this is the number three and this is a nice nude with a hint of pink. And this is the nude lips that I can propose you for this makeup if you think that the eyes are too much if you're also using the lips. So um, this version is really cool and I think if, if I'm going out for the day it's what I'm going to wear. Just a nude, a nude lipstick because I don't want to bring too much attention. But if you are going out and that you dare wearing darker lips, really full lips, or if you're going to a party, I'm going to suggest you another lipstick. I'm going to line my lips with this Lip and Soul by Sephora and I don't know the name of it. And then I'm told, on top of that I'm going to use Diva which is this, this deep purple color. It's really beautiful and I'm going to be really careful when I apply this also. So don't worry, no one is perfect if you have some, if you did some mistakes, we are going to touch up everything. So I'm going to take a little bit of concealer, I'm going to use this Boeing one, this is the number three. And I'm going to align my lips just to avoid the redness of the lipstick. And that's it for the look, so I hope that you enjoyed this look, this really classy and full makeup. So if you try it, don't forget to let me know on my social medias. Don't forget to subscribe just right here for more beauty videos. And if you like this one, don't forget to thumbs up just right here. I see you in my next video. Bye!